language called C. Alright, so when you make a C project, make sure we the first things you want to write is for include scdio.h. You need that if you want to like I don't know print stuff, I guess. And int main. Let's say print up hello. Now everyone has to end with semicolon. So I'm going to write make give me a sec. Make intro dot C. Oh yeah, actually it's supposed to be make intro. So it's gonna make intro dot C. And that's the right dot slash intro. It's gonna print hello. Um if there's an error over there, but we're gonna fix that later. So between oh, right make intro and dot slash intro. So yeah, I'm also gonna write clear. So intro's already up to date, so it's gonna run intro over here. So I'm gonna have to write slash backslash end, which means new line if I want it to to be proper. So anyways, so this int main, uh, I mean we don't really have to know what it is right now. We're just there for now. So anyways, print f stands for print format because yeah, we're gonna learn that later as usual. So let's print three lines. But then if we remove the backslash and not to four of them, that's gonna turn into this because there's no new line separating them. Okay, so now we're gonna learn about variables. There are three types. Also, you can use this to make these two slashes to make comments. Anyways, there are two types. I mean, there are some number of types of variables, int or number, string, or a piece of text, char, or character, and float, which is uh, an integer with decimals. There are other types, which you're going to learn about later. But those are the four main types. So let's make an int. Int number is equal to boy. That's the syntax to make uh, a number. So if you want to include an integer, if you if you know another language, then you might just say hello int plus number. But that doesn't really work. But this but this is print format, not just print. So we can write uh, this weird this weird thing. But the S there stands for string, so text arguments. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to write I, I for integer. So next argument besides this is going to be the number itself. So yeah, it depends on the order. Like if I make another number which is eight, I'm gonna do another I, comma number two. Four, five, eight. Anyways, let's add this variable strings. So, strings don't really exist in standard C. So we're going to include string .h to do this. Print name is equal to isa. If still doesn't work, well, a string it's just multiple characters. So char name. Put these brackets here. Yeah, uh, yeah. They're gonna learn about them later. Let's put up percentage S for string, and we're gonna put name. <laughs> That's how we use that. So now about characters themselves. Character. Also, if you're using a string in C, it must it must be double quotes. But character must be single quotes. But well, it's in the name. The character is just a symbol. Character it's just a single character. Let me just modify this a bit. Okay. 
got the other type is float, which is a, a number without decimals. You can write after float, write num, and bim. So that works. So, uh, yeah. Well, so you can initialize variables that like this. So let's say int num. And then you can write the value later. Num is equal to y. So let's say this. So we could even put the int num over here. It's still going to work. So anyway, that'll be it for today's tutorials. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. So bye.